AI Videns provides an AI-based software that predicts when customers will pay their invoices and that helps managers define the best collection strategy. We at Troy reinvent debt collection and make it customer friendly. We combine successful debt collection with cutting edge CRM. Hanko provides passwordless, FIDO based identity and authentication as a service, enabling our customers to eliminate fraud and phishing while offering a cutting edge of UX. At Iris Trace, we help great brands deliver on their promise by embedding business controls, risk mitigation plans, and audits in their daily operations with an unprecedented simplicity and speed. We're Pixel Vision and we enable trusted digital identities. We bring trust back to online business by authenticating documents with just a smartphone and by proving someone's identity with liveness checks and facial recognition. Sferity is building digital identity software solutions, building trust for the fourth industrial revolution to bridge the physical sphere with object machines, the biological spheres, human enterprises and the digital spheres. Please join Alexa Gorman, European head of the SAP.io Foundries, and Christian Booz, head of the SAP Startup Engagement Team for the SAP.io Demo Day Session. Good morning and welcome to the SAP.io Demo Day. We're celebrating today the end of a three-month program that we started in September with um, some very innovative fintech and GRC startups. Before I start, I'd like to just set the stage a little bit, what we're doing. Um, SAP IO is a strategic business unit of SAP that was founded about three years ago to foster innovation with startups. What we do is we're building an open ecosystem of startup innovation around SAP's product portfolio. And we do this in two ways. We have a fund where we make investments, and we have a network of eight foundries or innovation hubs where we run acceleration programs with the most innovative B2B SaaS startups in the world. We run cohorts around certain themes. The theme that you'll see today is FinTech and GRC, but we have also been running themes around Industry 4.0 or Green Tech or Customer Experience. What we've seen over the last three years is that we're able, with these programs, to really create a win-win-win situation, a win for the startups because in the months that they're with us, we provide them with access to SAP's technology and resources to help them integrate. We provide them with a network of mentors, SAP mentors and external mentors. And what's most important for the startups, we actually give them access to roughly 450,000 customers that we have in the world, um, across industries, across geographies. It's a win for our customers because we're able to provide them with additional, very innovative solutions that SAP is not necessarily developing ourselves. And for SAP, it's a win because we get to, on the one side to work with very interesting companies, very passionate teams. So it's personally rewarding. But from a company perspective, we're able to develop partnerships with many companies that complement us, so able to extend our portfolio and also get feedback on APIs and technology that we then use to improve our products for our customers and our partners. The teams that you see here today have been very busy at work and I'll let them talk to the great things that they've done, but just that you know they've been going to over 50 workshops. We've been working, they've been working closely with over 50 mentors, many of whom are in the audience here today as well. And we delivered on our promise to open the door to our customers. So this is today the conclusion of a very intensive three-month program, but we like to see it as the beginning of a longer-term journey. Fi finance, as you may know, is the backbone of SAP's product portfolio. And we've really seen that there's a lot happening in this space. There are many interesting trends, and you'll see the companies that are presenting today are at the very forefront of what is happening on the innovation side. I 
before I hand over to my colleague Christian Bose, who's my partner in crime on the product side, I want to take a moment to first of all thank the SAP IO team here in Berlin who's been doing a fantastic job in bringing everything together and everything you see here today is partially also due to them. So big thank you to Miroslav, to Dima, Camilla and Hasha um, and as well to Klaus Schimmer. Thanks guys. And we can't do this on our own, so again, all the mentors in the room, and I see many of you sitting here, a big thank you for your continued support. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you to you too. So before... <laughs> so let me hand over to Christian. Christian is within the product engineering part of SAP, and he's been the link, and his team has been the link back into the organization, which is very important for us and the startups. So I'll hand it over to Christian, and I'll see you a little bit later. Thank you. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks, Alexa. Thanks for putting this together, and thanks for having me here on uh, stage. Well, it's about six months ago where Alexa and myself met first time. And I ask Alexa, hey, Alexa, can we do business-driven innovation? Can we do uh, a scouting? Can we do a selection? Um, can we find startups for the benefit of our customers that complement our portfolio? Complement um, our portfolio for dedicated areas? Well, and the answer was yes. And then I ask myself, okay, how do we um, continue? And uh, well, even without using Tinder, we find a great match. Uh, you will see that today. So we did not use uh, Tinder, we selected, we scouted with the benefit of our entire product engineering team. Um, we uh, selected and uh, validated multiple uh, startups and the selection you we're going to see um, today. Well, you may ask, why does that matter for SAP? Uh, why are these guys doing that? Uh, why are these guys scouting for startups to complement their solution? Well, um, I think it's best to ask our um, sponsor for the program. It's Thomas Sauer, is it? Thomas is a member of the executive board at SAP, and Thomas is heading our product engineering department. Let's see what he has to sell. Hello to the startups, the SAP IO team, our startup accelerator team, and of course, all of you, the TechCrunch participants. The TechCrunch events build bridges between startups and companies like SAP, and you have great opportunities for networking and exchange. It's almost end of a very busy year, so unfortunately, I cannot make it in person to the event. But we are convinced that giving startups the opportunity to build innovations in our solutions is adding value to both the startups and SAP. It's also about creating more value for our customers by applying the latest technologies for innovative use cases. I really would like to thank all of our SAP teams for their great support and organization of this event. Most of all, my thanks goes to you, our startups. All of you did an amazing job in building great use cases on SAP solutions. Over the past few months, I received tons of positive feedback and I'm very proud of all your work. Enough from my side, let's get this event started. I wish you every success for your pitches and an exciting day at TechCrunch. Take care. Well, thank you, Thomas. I can only confirm and underpin what Thomas just said. A big thank you for all involved uh, colleagues, for all involved customers, mentors, uh, sponsors, as well as a big thanks uh, from my side uh, to the startups. Yeah? It was uh, great from the very beginning to work and engage uh, together with all of you. Well, then let's uh, now kick the event uh, off uh, when you see about uh, the number of customers that uh, we from an SAP perspective have and think about how many users uh, are behind. Uh, you can imagine uh, the impact uh, a startup can have uh, uh, completing our solutions. And with that, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome Felix. Felix Magadans is the CEO and founder of Hanko. Hi, I'm Felix. I'm from Hanko. And uh, what we do is we remove passwords from the world. Let me tell you why we do that. Each year, there are 2 billion credentials stolen from companies' databases. According to a study from Verizon, um, there have been 1,300 data breaches last year alone. Chances are very high that each of you has at least one password today 
that you still use that can be found in those data breaches by anyone who knows where to look. And it gets even worse. For a company, when this data breach happens, the costs are almost 5 million US dollars. This per breach, per company. And now we've come full circle. What is the main reason for these data breaches? Well, in 81% of the cases, it's passwords. It's crazy, right? So that means all these things we use on a daily basis, they are not secure. I tell you, they are not secure. And they are not convenient. They're not convenient at all. Let me prove you uh, that by asking, when was the last time you couldn't remember a password? I bet it was sometime last week or so. So, wouldn't it be cool if we could do something about that? And actually, this is what we do. We free the world from passwords, and we do that with technology that is way more secure and way more convenient than anything you could previously do with passwords. Anything. So, now I'll show you how that works. The first example is called Windows Hello, and it's as easy as one, two, three. You enter your username on the left side. You use facial recognition or fingerprint or whatever your device is capable of, and you're done. It's that easy. So let me allow you to show you that again in motion this time. You enter your username. You hit sign in or whatever that button is labeled. Your face is recognized in an instant, and you're signed in. Windows Hello is an integral part of every Windows 10 installation. According to Microsoft, there are almost 800 million devices on the market today that can use Windows Hello and come pre-integrated with it. Of course, Windows Hello is not the only way how, can use, uh, how you can use biometrics today. All of you know these technologies uh, and, and use it every day. What makes us so special? Well, we support these uh, other standards as well. But we combine it with a technology that is basically a private key that is stored on your device. And the combination of these two makes it so secure that it can be used for online banking, for example. What we also enable is these tiny security keys you see down there. Why are they so special? Well, let me give you an example. Google and Facebook ship these little keys to all of their employees. And since they've done that, they had no successful phishing attack ever since. None. Problem is gone. Well, and if you're on a device that doesn't support the things I showed you before, we have an app for that. With that app, you can sign in to a website on your grandma's Windows 98 PC with your iPhone 11 and Face ID. Just works. We're proud to say that we already work with these two companies. Carforsa is uh, an association of medicals in Germany, 5,000 medicals. And Digi Verlag is, uh, is a subsidiary of German Volks- and Raiffeisenbanken. They have around 150,000 euros that will uh, get secured by our service in the next month. And of course, we also talk to some very big names in the industry. We're mainly focused on financial services today but we broaden our spectrum in the next uh, year. Yeah, and of course, we've worked with SAP, I think very successfully in the last three months during SAP I.O. And yeah, we've identified several ways how we can improve the world of SAP, how we can bring passwordless technology to SAP. And the first example is called omnichannel banking. We work with them to secure the users of their white label uh, online banking product. Next up is Gikya, the company that got acquired by SAP in 2017. And they do customer identity access management for customers like ASOS or Toyota. They are now called SAP Customer Data Cloud. And on top of Customer Data Cloud, SAP is developing right now Universal ID. And Universal ID will be the, the single entry point into the world of SAP for all of the millions of users in the world. And we work with Universal ID to enable passwordless authentication there. 
So come to our booth, it's over there after the, after the uh, presentations, and I'll show you how we can free your world from passwords today. Next up is Michael. Next up is Michael from Pixel Vision. And uh, they do a solution that allows you to use your identity card on the internet. And all you need is your smartphone and a smile. So please welcome Mac Michael to the stage, and thank you, everybody. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. I'm Michael, founder and CEO of Pixel Vision. I'm personally attached to identity. As my wife and I have just created one in 2016, and by now the little man is already an internet user, and guess what? He's not alone. Did you know that within three years, the number of internet users has increased by a staggering one billion people? This is crazy. So everything is moving online. Business, people, finance, so many new uh, identities. So it's a great opportunity for everyone. Of course, also a great threat, as Hanko, uh, Felix from Hanko has just explained to you. So your personal data records might actually already be with fraudsters. So I'm not going to repeat that. Companies have realized how big the disaster is, and they do something against it. However, usually this is very paper-based. So their processes to verify people are very paper-based, very slow, very costly. And for the user, it's usually a big pain. That's why we have created Daigo, a scalable software solution for the fast and secure verification of trusted digital identities. I would like you sh to show quickly how this works and how UPC, one of the largest Swiss telcos, has implemented the technology. So if a user wants to use, uh, get, get a new mobile phone subscription, he does not need to go to the store anymore. He just verifies himself, he, himself from home by scanning his identity card quickly, we extract all the data, we check if the doc document is authentic by extracting security features such as holograms. Um, we then also uh, take a video selfie um, where we capture the face, we compare the face to the photo of the identity document. We also perform a liveness check, so the engine actually checks if this is a live person in front of the camera or a potential fraudster. And this is without any user interaction, so user doesn't need to look left or right or do anything. And that's all. The business can continue, and the guy is verified. <laughs> so our technology is really unique in very aspects, especially liveness and, and data extraction, authentication. Uh, of course, it's patent pending. So parts of the uh, technology have been uh, developed in cooperation with one of the world's leading um, institutes, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. Our customers really like us because we offer a very flexible, many-sided solution, so we can deliver mobile native applications, we can deliver browser-based web applications, we can support uh, SaaS solutions, we can deliver you with a SDK, uh, so you can have your, uh, your uh, customized white-label app. Uh, we can also support your on-premise solutions, but we can also work on a SaaS model. Within just two years since we were founded, we were already able to win four out of the five largest telcos in Switzerland. Why? Because we create value. The value we create is we reduce fraud. Fraud levels are down to practically zero. We help to increase sales. Um, so you can actually address new customers. Uh, you can also shift your sales into the more effective and low-cost online channels. And most important, we help you to reduce cost. So per verification, usually this used to cost 70 euros. Now it's less than two. So this is a great achievement, which our customers appreciate a lot. We're especially proud of one, or actually two customers. Um, so one is... Swiss ID. We were selected as technology provider of Swiss ID. This is the Swiss national ID scheme, and in every Swiss technology, there's now Pixel Vision technology inside. Also, we're now moving into banking. 
And our first large banking customer is the third largest bank of Switzerland, Zurich Cantonal Bank, and I actually announced this for the first time here officially. I'm very pleased about this. Now, next step, in Switzerland, we're good. Now we wanted to grow outside of Switzerland. We want to grow into more use cases. We want to support more industries. So there, that's where SAP uh, comes in. So we partnered with SAP IO to basically support use cases in different industries. So we've been working on different uh, integrations. One is SAP Omnichannel Banking. The other is SAP Field Glass for the secure verification of um, external contractors. And another one is SAP Gigia. So this is basically in any process where identity is, uh, is a topic, um, it, it's relevant. So we really want to support as broadly as possible because the technology you can really use very widely. Wildly. All what we have achieved is, of course, only because of the team. We have been working together for more than 10 years. We have already sold the company. And we're now looking very much forward to really change the digital identity space and to create a world which is very trusted, more secure for all of us and for our children. Next is Insferity. And they will talk about digital identity and blockchain. Thank you very much. Ja, hello everybody. My name is Carsten Stöcker. Um, I'm founder of C and CEO of Sverity. And at Sverity, we are developing digital software identity solution for the fourth industrial revolution. What does it mean, the fourth industrial revolution? So let's do a reality check what is happening right now in the IoT space. Today, or let's look in 2010 in the internet, we had about in 2010, we had about um, 7 billion entities in the internet, humans, some machines, some ERP systems. And now in two weeks, uh, 2020, so we have already about 40 billion connected devices on the internet, your smartphones, your IoT devices, your SAP systems. But what's growing even more aggressively than just the single number of entities and devices is a sheer amount of connections, of transactions, and information. And what does it mean for you as a business? So for you as a business, you don't have the time anymore to check the authenticity, the integrity, and the sources of all these informations. And now let's do a reality check. So where are we in the internet in terms of trust and identity? So today, we still have a problem when I'm interacting with a counterparty in the internet to verify, is this a real SAP employee? Is this an authentic BMW car? Or is it a vendor I really trust? I just don't have the technologies and the methods to establish a trusted um, communication with this other counterparty. Now with all this information, that's a problem for you as a business because you depend on the information, you would like to do um, business fast, and now we have to look in the solution how this can be solved. This is where Sverity comes in. So one example of our customers is Novartis, and obviously in pharmaceutical industry. So we have a lot of regulatory requirements, compliance requirements. So in pharmaceutical, you have to check a lot of data, to check the sources, to assess the risks. And of course, you would like to do it in a very automated way. How do we solve it? So with Novartis, we provide identity for a couple of use cases. The primary use case right now is called third-party risk management. We provide identity for a vendor. The vendor gets a couple of digital credentials. You can think about digital credentials similar to your identity card in your briefcase but now a digital credential about your vendor in terms of anti-bribery compliance, um, labor rights, uh, health, safety, um, and environment compliance. And if you have onboarded the vendor once in a process taking from 20, 30 business days to, 30, to three months, if you have onboarded this vendor once, you have fully digitized the credentials, 
if you have to onboard the same venture in a uh, vendor on Novartis again, then you basically can do it in a fully automated way, instantly, in less than three business days. And what the pharmaceutical industry is doing, they are open to share the credentials, the vendor credentials, which means I got verified once at Novartis, go to Bayer, and Bayer can do an instant onboarding of me to reduce a lot of time to do the manual checks on all the information about compliance. Yo, so what are we doing? So we are providing four features. One is digital identity of all kinds of entities, from humans, IoT devices to enterprises. Credential-based trust, whoever I interact with in the internet, I can request credentials, machine-readable, fully automatic, um, verifiable to establish trust to the other counterparty. I can do business transactions, consent agreements, which in a kind of docu sign on steroids. I know who do I do the transaction with. I sign it, I get it countersigned, and then I can do, do my business. Why are we working with SAP? Because the standards, the solutions we are using can be easily retrofitted and integrated with existing SAP systems. And by bringing our solution to SAP Cloud, we can massively scale existing entities and systems yeah, to participate um, in the new digital world. So who are our customers? So we, have cust we are helping customers across multiple industries, primarily automotive and pharmaceutical industries. And yeah, so we are a growing company with a growing team, deep tech expertise, deep business expertise. And um, yeah, please meet us at our booth um, to discuss how we can bring your products and services to the next level to transact in a fully connected cyber physical world in the fourth industrial solution is new internet. Now I hand over to Andre from Iris Trace. Yeah, welcome Andre. <laughs> yeah. Hello and good morning. It's such a pleasure to be here. So at Iris Trace we do mobile audits and business controls. Let me just start showing you a small little video of one of our customers, the Palladium Group. I'm sorry that I have to cut it here, but we're just running a little bit out of time. But if you remember what they said, it takes magic to turn guests into lifelong fans. I'd just like to think about, well, what does it actually take with magic? And with magic tricks, a lot of it is about managing the invisible, the things you don't see, but that make you feel special to want to return and be a lifelong fan. So if you are Patricia, at the Palladium Hotel Group, you have to worry about a lot of different things. You have to worry about different locations with their country regulations, with their regional, with their state, with their city regulations. Just think about waste management, how complex the management of that is, and different rules with labor laws, etc., that you have to take care of. But if you also have the aspiration of being one of the leading hotels of the world, you have to be ready any day for a mystery inspection with more than 800 stringent control points. So you really have to be at the top of your game every single day. And then you have a lot of brands to manage, and each of them have their own individual characteristics or their own target audience. And your staff, the ones that you onboard, onboard, and the ones that change from brand to another, they need to know what's so special about each brand. On top of that, you have to deal with a lot of tour operator standards. And last but not least, you're under the most intense scrutiny by your own customers. And social media scores and ratings really, really matter. So when it comes to that, how do you actually do that? And we believe it's a lot about simplicity. It's about reaching the front lines. And when we go out there, we still find a lot of these things out there. Or if it's not that, it's chaos in your inbox, or it's chaos on Excel versions that you have to manage. 
And in fact, if you do this and you make it simple and you do it on a repeated basis, you get people to be on top of their game every day. So daily controls are part of your DNA. And we've made that simple by just simplifying it for business people that can publish these controls, checks, audits, to thousands of devices without the help of IT or without the help of finance experts. So things you can design and control and just basically publish yourself. It's as simple as that. And by fulfilling the controls, you learn a lot. You learn a hell of a lot. Every day, you see the data coming in and you learn what you can improve. And that acceleration of the learning cycle has big rewards. If you think about it, the hospitality industry alone has spent 12 billion on advertising last year in the US and Europe alone, and are paying probably something close to 50 billion in commissions, mostly to acquire new customers. So how many of them do you actually want of these dollars do you want to invest into making your guests a lifelong fan of your brand? And we've seen this pattern over and over. It doesn't matter. We serve lots of industries in retail, in oil and gas, in automotive, in construction and real estate. In fact, we've seen it across the 75 customers that we served when we started this program. And since then, we've been able to add 15 programs right there, 15 customers right there. And they perform a lot of controls. And here's some of the brands we work with. So small but also very large companies that find it very useful to bring this level of knowledge and expertise into the front lines. And what do they have all in common? Well, most of them are SAP customers. So yes, we've teamed up with SAP IO and made it happen to integrate SAP audit management. And we're working currently on the risk management as well as the process controls right there. And if you're familiar with that, we upload the work packages, you complete them on the mobile device, and after the mobile device, you have them right back there in your audit management framework, and SAP takes care of the enterprise-wide risk management. And this is how we complete it, and it wouldn't have been possible without this team, but also the great team at SAP IO. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and hand over to Edouard. Please welcome him on stage from A Evidence. Thank you, André. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Edouard, and indeed, I'm one of the founders of AI Evidence. And AI Evidence is a young startup dedicated to artificial intelligence, um, artificial intelligence applied to debt management. So for example, and among others, we can predict when your customers will pay and when. Last year, when we look at the market, the total amount of losses due to unpaid invoices was about 200 billion euros. It's about 2.3% of companies' annual revenue. It's really a lot. And though every time we talk to companies about that, they come with the same question. How can I do better? How can I do better knowing that I've implemented the best solutions and I've implemented the best processes? And that's where we come into play. We AI evidence. So we've done our homework, we've analyzed the market, we've talked to many companies, and actually we have created a um, a solution that will reply, that will answer two of the key issues that we have identified. One of those issues is the fact that when you look at a collection process, it actually starts when invoices are due or close to be due. So it, in other words, it starts when problems have occurred already. That's the first issue. The second one is that when you look at the amount of work and the amount of items that teams have to work on, it's actually more than what they can do. And that's why we have created a software solution that is based on four pillars. The first pillar is about payment predictions. So it's about how, by using artificial intelligence, we can anticipate payment issues and really determine whether your customers will pay their invoices and when, as I said earlier. The second pillar is about the segmentation. So with the algorithm that we have created, we can actually segment that portfolio according to payment patterns, according to different risk types, so that you can take short-term decisions or medium-term decisions when it comes to your debt portfolio. For Spiller, we can start playing and simulating uh, different collection strategies and assess the impact of those strategies on your customers and on your debt portfolio. And finally, we can work on prioritization, so you can prioritize the work of your teams. Now, where we stand in in the standard process, 
actually right in the middle between data and execution. In other words, with our collection strategy management solution, you can, for example, on the one hand, identify all the invoices for which there is no action to be taken, so it can be fully automatized. On the other hand, uh, we can identify very early in advance before the due date that an action needs to be taken. And in the middle, we can as well assess customers swiftly moving towards bad customers. And you can start working on these. Now, over the last 12 weeks with SAP IO as part of their acceleration program, we have been working on a seamless process by integrating our products with SAP components. And today we can say that we collect the data from SAP systems, right? Invoices and payments and beyond. We process those data in our solution using artificial intelligence to produce the predictions and the segmentations. And then we use SAP solutions to the, the, the SAP Analytics Cloud to edit some of the reports with drill down and whatever. So you have the financial reports, standard ones. Um, you have prediction reports where you could say, for example, I would like to understand the gap between the um, expected cash and the predictive cash. You can see the segmentations. You can see heat maps with uh, probabilities of collecting the, mon the money back. And then only once you understand your portfolio situation, you can start uh, making simulations on different collection strategies, right? But the key thing, again, is once you have done your simulations and froze one of the collection strategies you were willing to focus on, we then transfer it back to the ERP system so that the end users specialized in collection could start working with the collection strategies that we have defined. Now, we can say, and we are proud to say, that the two brands together, SAP and AI Evidence, we can achieve great results. For example, 20% of improved operational efficiency. It's huge. And of course, still considering customer satisfaction, because something that I didn't say yet, but we, in the algorithm that we have defined, also take into account the um, customer context. Now, finally, remember the 200 billion euros I spoke about earlier? Well, our challenge and our ambition is to reduce that amount by 20% or more. Now, if you want to be part of this journey, I definitely invite you to come to a booth uh, at the SAP Bio Startup Pavilion. So it's just a couple of meters away. Come and ask for a demo. We'll be pleased to show you what we have done. Thank you very much. And now let's talk about debt collection as a service. As a debt collection agency, we collect money from customers who did not pay their invoices. We use cutting-edge technology to make customers pay more and faster. Since we started to work with this collection agency, we receive 40% higher payments on our bad debts. This strengthens our profit and improves our cash flow. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Philip. I am one of the two founders of Troy. And today we have our coming out as the most effective debt collection agency in the market. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about debt collection? It's probably a picture like this. I can assure you this is not the reality, but I'm afraid the reality does not look much better. Leading debt collection agencies right now are like huge call centers, they are still very much offline, but the worst thing is they provide a horrible customer experience. It feels bureaucratic, it feels threatening, but then why would you care? These customers didn't pay, right? Well, let me share an interesting insight with you. Over 50% of the people just forgot to pay or just have a short-term bottleneck because there are times in life when people just have other things in mind than to pay their bills or when they are just not at home for a while, or they simply have too much to do. This is why we founded Troy. With a great, talented, and diverse team, we combine technology, decades of debt collection experience, 
and best practices of marketing and CRM to build the platform for customer experience in financial processes and services. We use the platform ourselves as a debt collection agency, but can, it can also completely be white-labeled to provide previous processes as platform as a service. For each customer, we define individual customer journeys to uh, reach the best recovery rate, payment-wise, as well as customer retention. And how does it work out so far? We are very proud that one of our 30-plus clients, uh, a leading uh, telco provider, shared how we performed against competitors, two of them being market-leading agencies in Europe. And we outclassed them. I mean, by far, we achieved 25 to even 80% higher payments. And the best thing is, custom customers do not only pay more and faster, they also pay happily. And I think this is huge for debt collection, right? Um, let me give you a feeling how debt collection with Troy feels like. We address customers across all channels, and in digital channels, we provide a deep link to log on to our customer self-care portal. In the portal, we provide full transparency of all tr previous processes as well uh, as uh, about what to expect. But I think the main feature and the coolest thing that we have is our omni-channel mailbox. Here, the customer receives full transparency about the entire communication history, be it emails, mails, letters, and even a chat, all of them updated and consolidated in real time. And obviously, we want to tell the, uh, uh, provide this transparency for customers, but we also want to provide this transparency for our clients. And this is where we teamed up with SAP. Uh, 12 weeks ago, we pro started this program, and every one of us thought, OK, we know what we want to do, but it's not, uh, it's, it's not possible. But now we can say we did it. We integrated the entire information uh, uh, into, into the SAP front end, with a separate Troy tab, you now have all the information about the process of debt collection as well as the entire communication history, and all of that also in real time. You see the chat that just happened is already in there. And now let's say you have a complaining customer, and she calls, and you, you agree, okay, I reduce your claim, let's say by, by 50 euros. Then you book a credit note to reduce the claim in your SAP front end, you hit uh, on save, and then in real time, this data is transmitted to our platform. And seconds after the customer hangs up, she receives an SMS with the updated amount, with a new payment link, with a reduced amount, and can pay like, with different payment methods. And after that, obviously, we want to make sure that customer experience happens. We provide a Qualtrics survey. And here it is integrated, and we get feedback of our services but the customer can also provide a net promoter score, for example, for our clients. And this information then is also immediately handed back into the customer, uh, into the uh, SAB front end with the entire payment information and the Qualtrics survey. So let me sum it up for you. If you work with Troy as a corporate, you can immediately reduce your bad debts by about 30, or up to 40%. You can keep valuable customers and all of that for zero upfront costs, and even the integration with SAP. So if you're interested in doing that, let's just uh, talk and uh, let's meet in the break. Thanks a lot. So, thanks. So thank you all, and thanks to the startups for the great pitches. Um, as they said, they have all got pods just outside, so if you want to talk to them a little bit more in detail and see their solutions, feel free to stop by. Um, we kept a little nugget of gold for the end. Um, I'm delighted to call on stage in a minute our Chief Transformation and Strategy Officer and the true father of SAPIO, all the way from New York, Deepak Krishnamurti. I'm super pumped to be here. Like, this is so fantastic to be at TechCrunch Berlin and so honored to be here, like, finally, like, you know, wrapping up the SAP IO Demo Day. Uh, you, are, you all saw what we are doing over here from an SAP perspective. We are 
truly open. Every company that you heard today is integrating with SAP through the cloud platform. You can leverage the power of data that we have. You can leverage all the workflows and innovations that we do in the SAP ecosystem and truly build a scale-out business from a startup perspective. What I really want to talk to you also about is the fact that one of the biggest areas of focus from an SAP.io perspective is our focus on inclusive entrepreneurship and women and underrepresented minorities in technology. Uh, earlier this year, we launched this initiative called SAPIO No Boundaries that was all about investing in women and underrepresented minorities. Today, if you look at where Europe is, less than 0.4% of the venture capital money goes to all women teams today. That's way down from 2.5% two years back. Less than 8% of VC money goes to mixed gender teams. So what we want to do is to make a big difference. We are focused on investing or accelerating over 200 startups over the next five years that are either led by women or underrepresented minorities in technology. And if you are a women entrepreneur, if you are an underrepresented minority entrepreneur in the B2B SaaS space, come and talk to us. We would love to work with you. We'd love to do something with you. This year alone, SAP has worked uh, with over 30 companies in the last, and that's up to over 50% of our portfolio is coming uh, either from companies that are either funded, founded by women or underrepresented minorities, and that's a big difference that we're making. But then we also want to work with male founders. So like, no, it's, it's, we're truly open, truly uh, an equal opportunity uh, investing and an accelerating firm. We have uh, also a big uh, investment uh, arm, like you know, in the sense that we invest in seed and early stage companies. Uh, so some of the companies that you're looking at could be a part of our investment portfolio from an SAP.io fund perspective. Again, uh, we are uh, big in Europe. We are starting to do a little more in Europe. We have uh, three accelerators in Europe, in Paris, uh, Berlin, and, and, and Munich, and we want to do more. So if you are a B2B SaaS company wanting to work closely with SAP, come and talk to us. And ultimately, like now, this is where you can go and scale your companies. We have the mentor network. We have the customer access. And we have the APIs and data for you to work with. So thanks for being here and looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you.